Well, I don't know, this tournament is really crazy and I think it's much more exciting than any team or any fan or anyone had, had expected it to be. Like literally everyone can beat everyone. Hey everyone, this is Darius from Shot Call. I'm once again joined by Broxa after the loss against Team Liquid, but a win against Flash Wolves where you were clearly the MVP. Uh, what do you make of this day? You're still smiling. <laughs> well, I'm still smiling. Like after the game, I obviously was smiling too much. I was a bit uh, salty and a bit sad that we lost against Liquid. But I think overall, the day has been um, both really amazing and kind of bad at the same time. Like obviously, the Flash Wolves game was one of my personal highlights in my career so far, like it was really amazing. Um, and then I really hoped we won against Liquid so we could say that, okay, now we're actually in group stage or in a knockout stage and secure that spot in top four. Uh, but we didn't, so I guess we just decided to make it exciting for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep it risky at the end of the day uh, on Knife's Edge. That's it. So, like, kind of uh, talk me through what went wrong in the second game. Was it like a lot of people mentioned that the draft was wrong, that it was like a bit too cocky? You know, why would they put you not on a playmaking um, um, jungler and Caps not on a like carry mid laner? What, what was going on there? Well, I think, like, in my personal opinion, it was. Kind of awkward right from draft. I don't think the draft was that bad and definitely not the only reason we lost. Mm -hmm. But obviously having me and Graves and Caps and Karma is kind of new and a little bit risky because it's not something we have done much before. But at the same time, um, it is something we've played in scrims and that have worked really well for us. So we thought that, okay, it's, it's going to be fine. Like it's not going to be a problem. But, um, well, in... In theory, Cap should have been pushing mid, bot lane should have been pushing, but everything just got messed up right from level one because Huli got caught and they got first blood. So suddenly we did not have mid push in anymore, we did not have bot push anymore. Um, therefore, I couldn't really use the fact that I was playing Graves and I couldn't really invade X Smithy too much in the, on the Olaf. So our um, whole early game just got kind of um, ruined from level one. Then later on, Olaf got a kill top lane. That made, th made things even harder. So we just ended up falling behind right from the beginning. And then we just had to like really, really farm for late and, and hope they can't end the game. But they could, so that sucked. I mean, there was one fight where you almost brought it back. And then, yeah, the, the Baron and, of course, the, the Elder Drake at four Dragon Sword. Did they even have five? I can't. It's like yeah. way too many. So that was kind of the end of it all. Uh, it felt like, yeah, I don't know. It just you, you tried to scale into late game, but you gave up so many objectives that it just didn't come to that point where you know everyone spiked. Yeah, well, it was really tricky and really really hard to stall. We thought that after we dropped all the tier ones, um, we would have a, a better shot at defending our tier twos that, than we actually did. But they started rubbing really fast. Then they got a sneaky Baron at some point. Uh, like we thought they were mid lane, and then suddenly Baron is almost down already. Um, and that made the game pretty hard. Uh, on top of that, they were pretty lucky with the drakes. Like they got three ocean drakes and two infernals, so that couldn't really be better for them either. Uh, so it, it was just like everything just went went the wrong w way for us right at, right from the beginning. And then when we when we were actually about to catch up again, then things just went downhill really fast. Like we had that one good fight, but apart from that, I think we just played kind of poorly. Okay. Uh, that said, uh, like I had some debates about this. What, what do you personally think of like double ocean drake being? Is it like a strong thing or is it a like a weaker uh, drake combination? Because I think it's super strong. I've heard a lot of pros say that it's super strong, but then some people, you know, say no, it's actually super weak late. You don't need it. Yada yada. What's your take on that? Well, I think uh, well the first ocean drake is obviously really op. Okay. Like I think they got first ocean at like three or four minutes. Yeah. So. That was pretty disgusting for our laners. Obviously, as a jungler, it doesn't mean much, but uh, I know my lanes are not too heavy about it, so there's that. Um, I don't think that having two Ocean Drakes necessarily is too annoying, uh, apart from like early game. Mm -hmm. um, but I think when you have three Ocean Drakes, it's really disgusting. Like There were some fights where we, we got them all really low, um, but then we know there are three Oceans, so in our communication it's just like, okay, they're low, but there are three Ocean Drake, so in 30 seconds they're all going to be back with almost full health again, uh, which is a pretty sad thought now that they have Baron and are about to end the game. Uh, it made it a bit har harder for us to stall. So I think, in my personal opinion, three Ocean Drakes are really, really OP. Um, 
So, yeah. I would assume, especially with the Cholgath on the enemy team, like that's just BS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is really, really annoying to play against. So, first day, Fnatic goes 0 2. Second day, Fnatic goes 2 0 and completely stones everyone. Second day, you guys go 1 and 1, and both games could have, in my opinion, both be won or both be lost. Uh, and today, you went 1 and 1 again after a really convincing game against Flash Wolves and just a relatively poor game against Liquid. What is it that the team lacks in consistency right now? Well, I'm not even sure to be honest. It just feels like, like I don't really think there's like one game specifically where we've played really poorly. Like maybe against Liquid today, the game wasn't that great, but like the three other games were all winnable. I think we should have won both NG games. The Flash Rules one, we could have won for sure as well. Really? Okay. Um, so I think, like generally all all three games. Three or well, I guess you could say four. Probably all the other three games were, were pretty winnable, especially the two ones against RNG. So yeah. um, I don't know. I feel like there's just um, always some small mistakes happening, or um, like small mechanical micro mistakes happening, or someone making an individual mistake, and then it kind of messes up the game a bit. Um, but it's not really on anyone specifically. I think we we've, we've all made some mistakes at this mm -hmm. point. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of bittersweet because in reality we could have six wins now if we won both against ING and we would be in contention for first place. Yeah. So, um, well, just being left right now with a pretty bittersweet feeling. <laughs> what, what is the, the team morale uh, like right now? Like after so many ups and downs, uh, how do you even put it together? And you're like, ah, oh, I'm going crazy. Well, I don't know. Like. It, it feels like one moment we're really confident and we believe that we're the best and yeah. then the next moment we are like, oh, we're only around fourth place, we're not that good. Um, like at least I think that's kind of the story of today. It's like after the Flash Wolves game, we were so hyped and, yeah. um, and it was like so insane. And now it's like, oh my God, we're not even sure that we're actually going to get into top four. And it has been like this the whole tournament, mm -hmm. but at least all the way through we've been... Um, aware that we can actually beat every team so that's pretty nice like we know that if we play properly we can actually take every team down and we've proven that already but we're just so inconsistent that it's it, it, like it's just kind of sad so if we find a way to play a bit more consistent and uh, not do as many small uh, mess ups then I think we we're in a good spot. I think there's still a way for tiebreakers in the way that if you guys win against EVOS, Team Liquid will win both their games and RNG lose both their games, then it's like three teams on five on five. So that would be <laughs> interesting. EU ties! We have the high ground in that situation. Yeah, let's let's hope it doesn't come to that at least. Um, yeah, it's it's been an interesting MSI for sure. Uh, what do you make of the competition though in, in terms of like, we, we've seen the dominant flash rolls and then they drop both their games today. We've seen KZ being completely beatable, RNG, sometimes they're amazing, sometimes they're just question mark ping. What, what is happening in this tournament? tournament? Well, I don't know, this tournament is really crazy and I think it's much more exciting than any team or any fan or anyone had, had expected it to be. Like literally everyone can beat everyone. Obviously Evos seems to be a little bit weaker than mm -hmm. the other teams, but they they still have potential to upset literally any other team. I mean, that game against EVOS, let's not... <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were pretty close to lose, losing against EVOS, that's for sure. So um, I think it's just like everyone can beat everyone and it makes uh, the tournament really, really close. So, yeah, I mean, it's just really exciting and kind of nerve-wracking right now. Because, um, yeah, as you mentioned, tomorrow anything can happen. Like maybe we're going to play type a freeway tie, maybe we're going to go straight through, maybe we're just out, like no one knows what's going to happen. So we just really, really have to, to get some wins and hopefully somehow we beat Kingstone in the first game and then we can kind of chill from there, but we'll, we'll see. That would be pretty cool. And I mean, at least Kingstone is probably not going to take first place. And I mean, I want to say at the, this point, it doesn't even matter. I think who you face in best of five, they all look strong. But uh, yeah, let's hope that you guys, of course, make it. Is there anything you would like to say to the fans out there watching? Well, I would like to say thank you a lot for the support, especially today I've received so much support. It has been absolutely insane. Like I looked at my social medias after we played Flash Wolves and all I saw was like memes about the Broxa Smash and Broxa Smite and people 
supporting me and hyping me up. Like I've never experienced anything like this. It was, it was really amazing. So thank you everyone out there for supporting me and the team. It has been really awesome. Thank Mr. Broxa. <laughs> this was, of course, Broxa and Darius from the Shot Call of Yet a Good Day. See you then with Fnatic, hopefully, in Paris. Bye bye. Hey everyone, I hope you just enjoyed that MSI interview. We would very much appreciate your support, so please make sure to leave a like and a comment down below, subscribe over here, and watch some more of our content here and here. And make sure to check out the shotcaller.net for more NA, EU, and other regional content. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.